When action news reporter Lexi Souter dug deeper into this controversial debate, Lexi. Yeah, very controversial, Mike. Now there are two letters, one from the House, one from the Senate, both urging Governor Jay Nixon to reverse his decision and block Syrian refugees from entering the Show Me State. I've had people call me, I've had emails concerned. Gary Cross represents you know, Lee Summit in the Missouri House. I think I have an obligation to represent the interest of my people to start with. And I think I feel like you know, security should be a priority, number one. Cross is one of more than 100 state reps and 20 state senators who signed letters urging Governor Jay Nixon to join 30 other states in blocking Syrian refugees at their borders. Okay, here's my question. When somebody's coming over to this nation with the clothes on their back, what, what documents do they have? They don't. One of the few lawmakers who didn't sign his name, Jeremy LaFavor of Kansas City. He says his colleagues are making a political statement, not recognizing reality. I mean, the, the other thing that's so disappointing is that lawmakers and people who have a significant knowledge of the law, so much better than I do, somehow have failed to understand that there's no legal ability to stop a refugee anyway, nor should there be. This is a free country. And it needs to stay free. Whether the block is legal or not, Cross is standing by his signature. We've got an issue right here that's at the federal level, and that's not going to excuse a state representative from being involved. I didn't, I didn't make the laws, you know. People need to come to this country just like anybody else has, and they're not. State Representative Mike Moon, who wants to put a stop to, quote, the potential Islamization of Missouri, did not return my calls or emails. Now, as for Governor Jay Nixon, he says the safety of Missourians is his highest priority. Across the state line, Kansas is trying to block those refugees. Mike and Rhiannon.